Letterman saying that he thought Bojato landed the higher quality blows down the stretch. Be interesting to see where the judges go because in my estimation, Leha threw more and landed more down the stretch. Here's a look at who the judges are. It wasn't very difficult to score Hopkins Vanderpool. It wasn't very difficult to score Jones Telesco. This one was an interesting call. And uh, it was Stewart who scored the fight 115-110 for Pacquiao who was going forward the whole time, as opposed to the French judge who scored it 115-110 for Marquez, who was counter-punching the whole time. And now let's go to Michael Buffer and see how they scored this one. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of Bally's and Caesars Atlantic City, we go to the scorecards. Luis Rivera scores at 95-94 for Bojado. John Stewart, 96-93 for Leja. And George Hill scores the bout 95-94 to the winner by split decision from San Antonio, Texas, Jesse James Leha. Split decision win for Leha. Second loss of Panchito Bojado's career. Not by any means a career destroyer because he was in against a tough opponent who came up with a spectacular effort. And let's see what kind of a learning experience it becomes for Panchito. As Leia, who might conceivably had retired if he hadn't been able to make it through this fight in good shape, is now going to get some more opportunities in a weight class loaded with talent. And he deserves some more opportunities. He looked real good in this fight. He came in very good shape. He showed that all those years of experience can pay off. I mean, he's, take, he's taking very good care of himself. I'm sure he doesn't do any bad, have any bad habits, so he can continue to go on like this. Let's take a look at CompuBox numbers. And you'll see that Jesse James Leha won the fight on the scorecards partially by being way busier than Panchito Bajaro. Look at that. 324 more punches thrown, according to CompuBox. Landing only 38 more, but when one guy is throwing that many more punches, it's hard for the judges to keep their eyes off of him. Power punches, and this is where Leha did some spectacular work, particularly in the first round and then down the stretch of the fight with that overhand right, which Bojato never really completely saw. Larry Merchant, what a tremendous win for Jesse James Leha. Yeah, and a real good fight. Uh, a good win for a great old pro. And uh, Bojato goes way back at the, to the end of the line. Uh, if he couldn't cope with Jesse James Leha at 38, then I don't know what the ups upside of his career could be. All right. Well, we'll see what happens from this point forward. Meanwhile, let's look ahead to some up.